Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Zero to 60. So, I was planning to go and test the B58 coils today um, in preparation for roll racing, just to make sure everything's working. But while it was on the hoist, I was doing a bit of a bolt check. Uh, I was talking to a gentleman the other day. We used to have a motocross race team and bolts were always going loose. So I'm always paranoid about things going loose, especially if I've worked on them recently. So I was just going over, checking everything with the DCT, the rear end, all the suspension stuff and all the brakes. They're all good. However, in the mornings, on a cold morning, every now and again, when I'm backing this car out of where it sleeps, if I go from sort of left lock to right lock, not full lock, but take tension off the steering rack, it will click every now and again. Um, and the click's quite significant, like you feel it through the steering wheel. Um, I've been doing a bit of research. I initially thought it was just the tie rod end on the end of the steering rack. However, talking to a couple of BMW specialists that I mates with, they said check the thrust piece in the steering rack. Now it turns out that's a really common problem with the F30s. Don't see so many people with the issues on the E9X models, but I think that's what this is. Um, let me try and show you the noise inside. It's kind of easy to do it when it's all fresh and cold like this, and I jiggle the wheel, jiggle the steering wheel while the wheels are on the ground. Let me see if I can make it make the noise. All right, let's see if we can make it make the noise while it's on the ground. Um, I did have a play with this yesterday, and every time I try and film something, it never actually works. So I'll try it with the engine off because it gets quite loud in here with the engine running. Quite good at this moment. Ah, look, I can I can feel it. Let me try and shut the door off, but I bet the camera's not picking it up. Shut up. I mean, it kind of just sounds like a normal E90 steering rack right now, but there is a little bit of a notch there. I'll try it with the engine running. Everything's cold. This isn't working. Um, I don't know why, but I can't hear the noise. I guess it is a bit intermittent. Um, I guess it doesn't do it every time I've got a cold start and it's parked outside. But there is something weird going on. I might grab somebody else and I'll go underneath and I'll see if I can show you the noise because I can feel the knock in the right tie rod end, which is the tie rod end closest to the steering column. Anyway, you'll see me underneath. That was very sinister, wasn't it? All right, give it a wiggle. And if I apply tension to the tie rod end, sort of push the tie rod up, the noise gets louder. So I'm thinking it's the thrust bush. All right. All right, so I'm pretty confident it's that thrust piece or bush, whatever the hell it's called. Now there are repair kits for the F30s, which I think I mentioned before, uh, but there's no repair kits for the E9X models. Um, I don't really want to take mine apart unless I know I can fix it. So let's go and pull apart one of the parts cars and we'll see what's inside there. See if it's something that's likely to be worn or something we can add some grease to maybe. Um, see if we can quieten that noise down when it's cold in the mornings. All right, let's go and pull one apart. All right, so we have easy access to this steering rack. Um, I'm gonna try and do this one handed. So we'll see how it goes. Wait, it's threading it. Okay, so that has taken the cap off. Right, looks like they have a spring which must tension the, the bush. I wonder how we get that out. Hmm, let me think. All right, so this is awesome doing it one-handed, but I think that just, oh God, all right. She's tight, this one. I don't want to damage it in case I need to fit it to my car. Okay, we're definitely doing some damage. Mm. All right, I might need two hands. Oh, camera's upside down, but it's coming. Use the big pliers. Right, so I think that is my issue on my car. Because what it does is holds the steering rack sort of it's like a flat tooth gear that this pinion turns. It keeps force on it, pushing it down. 
And I think what's happening is my bush is worn, so under certain loads, it's pushing that steering rack piece up, and that's what the clonk is. And when I push my tie rod end up, that's why it's making more noise. So I'm thinking we'll take mine apart and see if mine looks any different to this one. So the bit we need to get to is up in there and with lovely N54s, the, the water pump is sort of right on it. So what I'm gonna do is undo the sway bar, let that hang out the way, then yeah, basically undo these lines and hopefully we can pull the rack forwards and angle it down enough, hopefully, to get access to where we need. All right, let's give it a crack. All right, so we've got the rack pulled down. Um, unfortunately, that's about as most amount of clearance I can get, but it should be enough. Uh, I can't do this one handed, unfortunately, so I'm gonna put the camera down and get this thrust bush removed, I think. Oh, it's, hang on. It wasn't even tight. Oh, I wonder if it's just loose, hang on. All right, so I got the cap out. My cap did about half a turn going tighter. So it wasn't overly tight, but with these quite fine threads, maybe that was the issue. But I think since we're here, I'll pull mine out and we'll have a look at the actual bush itself. Again, it's got the same spring that was in the other one. Quite a stiff spring, almost like a motorbike valve spring. And I'll try and get the pliers in there and get that piston out. Thrust the bush. So we managed to get it out. I was using these uh, pliers that we used on the one outside um, and I managed to slip off and smash my hand on the bumper like four times. Top tip if you're gonna do this, the o-ring that's in the top just there, just remove the o-ring. Comes out super easy and then the piston falls out. All right so what we have here, the one on the left is out of the parts car and the one on the right is mine and mine appears to be in much better condition than this one. There's definitely less parts taken off it. Might get some calipers on it and just measure the heights between the top and the ceiling surface. And just in case mine has sort of worn down and I can't see. If not, I'm gonna repack it and then put it down to that nut just being loose, I think. Maybe that was it. That half a turn on the thread was enough for it to knock every now and again. All right, let me get this measured. Well, mine is actually I think about 0.2 mil bigger. I did measure the top of the metal, and then I remembered that it's not the metal that does it, it's the Teflon that rubs on the rack. So I measured to the, the top of the Teflon, to the top of this piston, and mine is in better condition than the parts car. So I hope I'm not chasing my tail. Hopefully it's just loose. I'm gonna add a load of grease to it, put it back together, and actually do the, the cap up properly. Okay, so I put it back together, which you've just seen in that time lapse. I jumped in the car and gave the steering wheel a little jiggle, and the noise was louder. In fact, I've got a clip from the engine bay, which I'll play just now. Um, yeah, it was really, really loud. Obviously, I've realized I've done something wrong. So I had a quick look online, and there is an actual talking sequence to do with these ZF steering racks. Um, where you're supposed to like wind it right in and then go back a certain amount of degrees and uh, it's a process that I don't have the tools to do. So basically all I did was wound it off maybe probably an eighth of a turn, maybe not even that much, just a very small amount. And you can actually get to that nut with a 17 mil spanner whilst the rack is in place. So I, I backed it off the smallest of an amount and then went and checked it again and here's where we are. It sounds a hell of a lot better. In fact, I'll go underneath and I'll get my lovely assistant, my mother, uh, to give the steering wheel a wiggle again. All right, give it a wiggle again. So it still makes a bit of noise, but now when I push up, the noise doesn't change. Right, stop. So yeah, I was thinking it was gonna be this piece being too worn out on my car, but it was just out of adjustment. Now, when I was pulling it apart, the cap that holds this in place I got over, I was about half to three quarters of a turn going in. And now from fully in, I'm about, maybe not even, oh God, I've probably gone from there to there. 
and that is quietened it right down. So it's just it's still got a lot of preload on it, but not as much as it was before. And now when I push the tie rod end up, the noise doesn't change. So there is play in it, but it, the rack has done 160,000 Ks. I don't expect it to be completely silent, but hopefully we won't get that large click when I'm parking sometimes. Right, I'm probably gonna film a l another intro to this. We'll see, we'll see. Guys, if you made it this far, those adjustments can be made with the rack in place. You can get a spanner on there and you can just tighten it up. That would have been much easier to try without pulling everything off and without taking all this out. Although it's probably good to have been re-greased and cleaned. Um, I did see on a forum this morning that somebody added grease to theirs and that's what quietened theirs up, but I bet they probably did exactly what I've done. They've just gone tighter when they put it back together. Um, on older cars, adjusting this, I think they call it a yoke adjustment, um, can be like playing with fire. When I had it wound right in, so like as tight as that adjustment bolt will go, um, the steering wasn't sticky at all. So this is obviously a different design to a lot of the old E46 and E36 racks. Um, it doesn't matter how tight you go, the steering wheel still turned absolutely fine, even without power steering on. Um, but just keep in mind that it, it does need to have a certain preload on it. There is an OEM spec for this. I actually messaged my friend from the dealership. He's gonna get it for me. If I've got that information, I'll put it in the description below. But keeping in mind that the OEM spec will be for all brand new parts. And if you have a worn steering rack like I do, you will need to, I guess, run it in tighter. I guess, we'll see. Anyway, hopefully this helps someone with some clicky steering racks. If you've got any questions about it, hit us up below. Um, yeah, I guess the only other thing I will comment on, which I was thinking about afterwards, these lines on the side of the, I'm gonna call it piston. Looks like a two-stroke piston. Um, they're obviously this must shimmy backwards and forwards in that cylinder that it moves up and down in. And even on my one, it only had like two or three lines on one side. The other side was completely clean. So eventually these will wear to the point where these will slop around. Um, just something else to keep in mind. I don't know if you can buy these. I know you can buy repair kits for the F30s, but hopefully on the older E90s it is just a matter of winding the adjustment screw in. The last thing I should have spoken about at the start of the video, before you do all this, make sure your steering rack's tight. A lot of people have issues with a loose steering rack. I've had this steering rack off too many times now, um, and this clicking noise actually started before I swapped the engine. Um, I was thinking it was gonna be something loose in the subframe or the steering rack, uh, but it wasn't. And again, it mainly does it on cold mornings when you go and sort of locked, not locked, but going from left lock to right lock in the morning. Anyway, we'll see if it's fixed. It's definitely quieter now. I can't make it click by pushing the tie rod up, so we should be safe. Guys, sorry to nerder on. Thank you very much for watching. I think the car's ready to go roll racing. In fact, I better do some test drives. I'll take it testing tomorrow, and you guys will see that video. We'll see if the B58 calls make it any faster. All right, peace.